Hey there, this is City from City Interactive Studio. Today I want to bring you on a tour of my studio and show you my pastel painting workplace setup. This is the painting that I'm working on right now and it's almost complete. You can watch this video on how I did the detailing on this serial. So for so many years, I didn't create any new large pastel paintings. Although it's my primary medium and I really love it. It was difficult to work with because I could only do the painting outside on an easel and I didn't want to have to deal with this limitation. Plus, when working with pastel, I have to deal with the pastel dust. So I stopped producing pastel paintings and focused on other media. So for the past few months, I've been creating pastel paintings and I managed to do this in my studio without an easel. This is the area where I usually record my videos when I'm in them. So I just put my sketch pad board here, clip my painting onto it. The size of this board is 23 and a half by 26 inches. And this painting is 16 by 20 inches. This is the essential part that I want to show you. I learned this from another artist on YouTube. I created this dust catcher recently with simple copy paper to catch the pastel dust. Usually I would just put a strip of long paper to catch any dust that came down from the painting. Put my board on it and start working on my painting. You can see the dust right here. This is great because I can take this whole thing and transport it to the trash to discard the dust or store it for later use. And this is the palette that I'm using currently. You can see that there are a lot of different colors of pastels lined up. This is because I'm working on different paintings at the same time. I have a different color list for each pastel painting. I also use a bunch of pastel pencils for detailing. For my background, I prefer to stick to the same background color because it helps to focus the viewer's attention on the subject. I'm so engrossed now working in pastel. Like I said before, I haven't produced any serious pastel paintings in a long time and now I just feel like I want to do all my future paintings with pastels. I hope I've enlightened you with how I set up my pastel workplace, no easel required. Alright, see you soon in another video. Want to learn more about my work? Go to citynewartistudio.com and subscribe. And when you do, you'll get this free download, a creative supplies list that will help guide you in purchasing only the supplies you need now to start your creative journey. Stay creative and thanks so much for watching City Studio.